Thank you. Uh, let's go on the record. We are KC537499 Goldie Norcutt and Alex Council. Council, your appearance and your bar number. Front page, bar number six, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, who else would your uh, safe house person? Yeah. I'm sorry. Carrie Smizer, advocate for safe house. Safe house. We had yeah. safe nest. Safe nest is Vegas. Safe yeah. house is Henderson. Henderson. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's have mom and dad sworn in before we begin. And thank you. Yeah, you may you may sit there. That's fine. You may sit at table. Do you and each of you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give? Okay, any uh, procedural matters before we begin? Your Honor, real quick, you asked me uh, the last day to take my binder home and fix the exhibits and title them correctly. I have done so. and You have, uh, how many sets you have? Uh, three. Uh, three. Okay, good. So one, one for you, Mr. One, Page, yep. one for the clerk and I will share, and then one for you. Yes, Your Honor. And you have the old books uh, that you can trade with Dad? Give him back his old books? It's the same one. The same one? Yeah. yeah. I know. She'll figure it out. Okay. But thank you for giving that. Okay, Mr. Page, you got your new set? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other procedural matters? I do have a witness that's here that you said that he could come today. Uh, he had to leave due to time restrictions last time. Right. You um, want to get him in and out? Uh, I, would, I would really love to. Any objections, Mr. Page? He should be about 10, 15 minutes. He's a cumulative witness. He's just going to talk about youth football like every other witness he had last time. But no objection, right? Oh, yeah. He is, the objection is cumulative. He's going to talk about youth football. Okay, was he listed as a witness previously? I, yes. If he was listed as a witness, then I'm going to overrule the objection, and we uh, can take him out of turn so we can get that testimony. But do you have any procedural matters, Mr. Page? Yeah, I have a uh, oh, yeah, TPO hearing at 2.30. You have a TPO hearing at 2.30? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Mikey here will contact the marshal there, and they'll call you when you're they're ready to take your case. Okay, what's your witness's name? Jason Johnson. Jason Johnson? Yes, okay. Did he testify before? Uh, no. In he, the first trial? No? Okay. No, he ran out of time and he had to leave. Okay. Where is... Wow. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. There you yes. are. I haven't seen you guys since Watch November 19th. Remain standing, they'll swear in. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, day two of trial. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in this action should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so after that? Yes, I do. Thank you. May be seated. Thank okay. You. Can you state your name for the full uh, record? The My full name? name? Jason Craig Johnson. I think I can spell that. Okay. Yeah, pretty simple. The, uh, the dad here called you as a witness, so uh, Mr. Counsel, you may begin the questions. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, real quick, I would like to focus your attention on the screen just for, do you recognize the young man in the picture? You're talking about Gage, your son. Yeah, okay, do you recognize him? He presented in discovery. This is he right there? Brand new information should be excluded. Yes. He hasn't moved anything into... Uh, First of all, I know it's a technic it's a, uh, a video, I mean a photo thing, um, but I'm going to overrule it. Thank you. He's not moved anything in the evidence. Uh, again, uh, real quick. Um, do you recognize the young man on the football helmet? Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. And what is his name? That's Gage. All right. No, Cordy identified my son. Noted. Um, how many overall? How many years have you known Gage? Um, right now he's thirteen. I met him when he was six, six years old, so seven years. Six. So, so seven, seven years. years. Seven years. And um, 
can you define your relationship with him? Um, I was one of Gage's football coaches. Um, I would also say I was somewhat of a little mentor to him. I helped train and I took a real liking to the kid. Uh, he's a very good kid. Have you ever had any issues with him? Um, not listening to you, disrespecting you? Um, no, I mean, as a football coach, you have, we go through various issues with kids on a daily, you know, at practice. Sometimes, you know, they don't, but never, never disrespectful, never, never disobedient. He's always a good kid. Um, and during the football years, uh, there's two seasons, correct? Yes. Uh, there could be three because they had the Gators when he was the Gators, and then when he was with TMT, and when I think with the Wolverines also. Okay. Um, do you recognize me? Yes. And my name is. Your name is Alex. Um, was I one of the coaches? Yes, sir. Uh, how many years did you witness me coach youth football? From the time that I met you, from the time I met Gage. So seven that years. was seven, seven years. And say roughly football's 10 months out of the year, correct? With spring and fall, yeah, we and stayed busy. tournaments about yeah. 10 months out of the year? Yes, sir. And how many days a week did you see me and my son? Um, it would be the three or four days during the week and Saturdays, so five, be for, days for, for five days. Five days? Yeah. Um, did you ever witness, um, actually let me rephrase that, how would you explain my coaching style? Objection of relevance? Offer of proof. Your it's just foundation to uh, my character. Overall. Character is not admissible unless it's parenting overruled. Um, yeah, how would you explain once again before we were interrupted? How yeah. would you explain my character, my coaching style with the children on the field? The the kids loved you. Uh, you worked well with, with all the kids, uh, talked to them, joked around with them, and picked them up sometimes stuff, you know, if you need extra mouthpieces or or gloves or you know, you you were cool with the kids. The kids the kids enjoyed being your being a player for you. Have you ever witnessed me being abusive, aggressive, and hostile? No. No, sir. Thank you. Um, no, I've never witnessed you. Overruled. I've never, I've never witnessed you being hostile to any kid or yelling or anything. Everything that you were doing was supportive with the other kids out there. Gage and, and the other kids. Okay, thank you. Um, did you also witness uh, myself participating in off-field events, such as team building events, yes. barbecues, yes, going sir. to schools. Yes, sir. Every, every time. Sustained as to leading. Okay. Can you, uh, let me rephrase that. Did you ever if. witness myself offside football field just as a mentor with the football team? So yes. The, well, Sus uh, what? Uh, sustained. If I say Sorry. sustained, he has to rephrase the question. Gotcha. Okay. Um, do you recognize the name Danielle Esquilda? I can't pronounce your last name. I apologize. Um, I recognize the last name, the Esquilda, that's a kid that, that played football. Right. Um... And as well, do you recognize the plaintiff? Goldie? Yeah. Yes, I know Goldie. Okay. She's, yes. Um, out of these seven years, how many times did you see her at the football games? Objection, relevant. Overruled, you can answer. Um, I couldn't give you an exact amount. Uh, you were the main ones that was at the game most of the times. Uh, I have seen Goldie at the games. I couldn't tell you exactly how many. Um, Percentage. Kind of not a lot, not a lot, uh, maybe 10%, maybe 10% of the games, not, not a lot. You were the main guy there with sports, with football. Did you ever witness the plaintiff being hostile at any practices or any games? <coughs> um, there was one practice, um, I, I believe that you guys right. would have. Foundation, you have to say Foundation. 
Oh, sustained. So we need a time frame. You'd have to ask the witness first. The year, month, um, season. <laughs> the TMT season, yeah. when we switched teams to come over with you. Um, did you ever witness the plaintiff being hostile during practice? What year? Yeah, I just ask him. This this thing you're about to talk about. Sixteen. No. You asked the witness, this thing you're about to talk about, this incident, do you remember when it was? That, yes, you know, I remember. How old was Gage at the time? I remember the exact instance. It was, Gage was 11. He was playing 11 youth football, so this when? would be 2017. So, 2000 Gage? Okay, and now you can tell me about the incident. Um, we were just at, we were at practice, and Goldie was in, had come to practice, and she was upset that you were on the field coaching. Um, she was asking for your coaching badge and that you shouldn't be allowed to be out there to be with the kids. And can you confirm that I have all my coaching credentials? Yes, you were a coach on the team, and you did get your you when got your badge the next day, so there wouldn't be any issues. Okay, so this was a team that we moved over to because of the Gators split up is that correct yes sir okay so did Gage have a lot of friends on that team on TMT mm, I wouldn't say a lot I mean he was a, he was a new guy he was a new kid there you know coming from the Gators uh, I mean all the kids they're teammates so right. I don't know how closely they're friends you know outside of that but during practice time they were all you know they're all cordial and friends and hang out and laugh and play okay. and um did you witness me do anything that would provoke the plaintiff from causing a hostile environment at practice that evening? Objection, lady. Uh, sustained. Did you witness me do anything that would be out of character? It's the same exact leading question you just That asked. one overruled. You can answer. No, I, I never. I never witnessed you. Um, like I said, I, as a coach, you were one of those out there that you weren't the head coach, you weren't the defense coach, but you were out there supporting all the kids, helping them out when what they what they needed. Um, you weren't a yeller; you didn't yell. Them. That wasn't that wasn't your role, like kind of on the team either. You know, the he wasn't yelling or disciplining kids or nothing like that. Did you uh, did children witness the plaintiff um, cause a scene that evening? There was a lot of kids out there. I mean, we have roughly 150 kids in the camp. Um, I never had a parent come to me or say, you know, they uh, their kid witnessed a scene or anything. But I mean, there was kids around right. for sure. And how would you classify that behavior? Um, I, I, I believe the witness said he hasn't witnessed, um, other than that one incident he talked about, he hadn't witnessed anything else. Right, well, that's what I wanted to say. How would you You're define... Talking about, you, this was in reference to mom. Yes, how would you define mom's behavior? Um, actually, at, um, how I would define... I don't... I, I, it, was just, it, was just, it was a sad situation for me because I, I know both of you, and from my experience, you're both good parents, and I... To see what was going on there, it's it's just sad for the kids, you know, involved. Right. So I mean, I, uh, it's just a, a hard situation. It's, it's sad. It was sad to me. It was sad to me to see you guys going through that. Over seven years of mentoring Gage, what is your perception of him of football? Objection relevance. Overruled. His uh, the child's belief uh, interest in football. Overruled. No. You can answer. No, he he loved playing football. He was that was every year. I mean, he'd fall, spring. Some kids just play one season. He would play both. He would be there early. He would be there late throwing the ball. He would do stuff on his own time, extra time. Ask me if I can go to the park on other days to work with him. Um, I mean, he loved playing football. Mm -hmm. That's, and from my perspective, he loved it. There's some kids that out there you could tell because their parents force them. Um, 
he wasn't one. He he loved being on the football field. Um. Did Cage ever go to attend any events at Gorman? Yes, we used to go to Gorman football games. Uh, I coached uh, kids that would that attended Gorman, and uh, one in particular he looked up to. He like wore the same number uh, shoemaker, so he would go there and watch the games and sport, and it was part of the weekly routine. Football practice during the week. Friday Gorman games. Saturday we have our games, and we start on next week. Are you familiar with the Gorman staff uh, athletic department? Yes, yes sir. Well, where are you heading with this, Mr. Council? The Gorman games? Uh, this future. Okay, overall, you can answer. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Okay. Um, would it be safe to say that the athletic department at Bishop Gorman High School is classified as or perceived as the number one? program in the country. Objection Foundation. It's sustained its leading. How's Gorman looked uh, at in the community? Objection Foundation. Um, okay, uh, Foundation. Very good. Uh, foundation. So if he's about to say something about, you know, Gorman, uh, he's got to um, establish where you get this knowledge from. So I mean, his experience maybe, or so you gotta ask him that kind of questions first. Okay. So, so you're what is um, you're very familiar with the programs at Bishop Gorman High School with your experience. Is that correct? Objection Foundation. Uh, overall, he can answer that one. Uh, yes. I mean, I've so, yeah. been a coach in the community. Uh, um, any coach in the community is, is aware of what goes on with Gorman, and as you said, they're the top program in the state. How long, you, how long you live here? I've lived here for 25 years. When did you get into coaching? I got into coaching at 18 years old. I was a head coach. My, I used to help my dad assist coach when I was in high school. Oh, you Dover. went to school here? I went to school here. I graduated at Coronado so High School. you know all the Vegas football yes. since high school? Yes, ma'am. And, you, and then you've been a coach? You coach since? Yes, ma'am. You, you were a head coach at 18? Yes, ma'am. So you follow all these schools? If all the, the schools, the kids, and okay. everything. So then tell me, tell me about Gorman then. Uh, this Gorman, is Gorman football program. Gorman is uh, head and shoulders above the rest in the state. Uh, they're a private school. They have better facilities than the rest. Um, when, did, when did they become? They became um, 2008. 2009, um, the, program, we, took the off? program took off. Yeah, before that, it wasn't much. And the kids you coach fed into Gorman. Some of the kids, some of the kids fed into Gorman. They fed over all, all over the, the city. Yeah, any of them make it to the NFL? No, no, no NFL. Several in college. Uh, okay. So, but no, and I, mean, I, I still coach. So, it's, so I'm still involved with the community. I don't follow a lot of football. I just see what's in the news headlines. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Gorman's still uh, cream of the crop. Yeah, the they actually. Top of the. Yeah. 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 They're, they're the best school to go to here. Who's behind them? Um, right now it'd be it's Liberty. Liberty's close. Um, Desert Pines is another football school. Um, right. Cane Springs has a good program. Foothill. It just depends what depends what you're. Okay. Your kid specializes in different schools. Anything more on Gorman? Um, yes, Your Honor. Does Gorman recruit children at early ages? Um, I. Objection. I don't know what that. Does Gorman no, overruled? You understand the question? Yeah, um, yeah. No, I, I'm. Uh, what's the issue? Objection. Form foundation. Oh, he the uh, overall though. He, I think he established his knowledge of. Uh, football programs in the high schools. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, they recruit. They recruit. They, that's how they're good. I mean, okay. they they get out there, they get out and communicate <coughs> to kids. Um, like uh, this past year, Coach so Sanchez. What do you call it? Scout scouting. Uh, they scout? have to be technical with the word because they're not actually allowed to recruit. So they. That's why uh, I say officially. Officially, yeah. So that's why I, that's why I was kind of figuring out how I would word it, but. 
Yeah. Yeah. The head, the head coach uh, Kenny Sanchez was at our practice this past year, and they, officially they, they're not allowed to scout. Officially, they're not allowed to recruit. Yes. Officially, they're not allowed to recruit. No, but they can be hanging out at the park at the same time and okay. just happen to run into you and talk and okay. and and it works yeah. that way. So, but yeah. um, so to your question, yes, they talk to kids. Um, <laughs> They, they talk, recruit, right? Yeah, they they, they talk to kids um, and give them information about their program, the ones that are good that they're interested in. Do they have any interest in the Gage Objection Foundation per se? Uh, oh, um, overall on foundation, he coached uh, Gage for seven years, six. Honestly, I, I can't answer. Um, objection as to here, sir? Um, the answer was no anyway, so overruled. Okay, that was a no. You're not aware of. Gage was honestly, yeah, I'm not talked to. Right. Personally aware that the Gordon personally, people personally, were I wasn't, to. I wasn't there. I mean, Gage, we were okay, at only we were at football games all the time. I mean, he okay. spoke to You'd coaching have to staff, but personally, like, be standing there. Yes, no, that I, they they were chatting with him. Okay. Did Gage express any interest to you about going to Gorman? Oh, he loved Gorman. That's the Mm. He was his coach, I still he had conversations with him. We had it's not what the child specifically said, but his impressions of he's been interviewed, there's a GAL report. Duly noted, but uh, I'm going to overrule that. It's not what the child specifically told them, but his interactions with the child as a coach, uh and the uh, and the um, child's um, interest in the Gorman. So I'll accept the child uh, had a strong interest in Gorman based on your... Yes, he always um, was. Right. Interest or strong interest? Interest, strong interest? I don't want to put words in your mouth, sir. Oh, he loved he loved Gorman. I and mean, he would always wear the shirts and he... That was the only, I mean, it's the only school, high school he talked to me about. We didn't talk he about wore Gorman t-shirts. He wore Gorman t-shirts around. Yeah, we even we weren't at the games. Okay. He, uh, you've seen him at the Gorman games. Yes. Age. Yeah, okay. I've I've gone with him to the games. You mentioned that you coached some of the Gorman players in youth football, correct? Correct, sir. Um. Didn't you also reference Jonathan Shoemaker as one of the players at Gorman, correct? Yes. Did... Is he some kind of famous kid? Mm, no, oh, he, he's, he's no. One of your kids you coached? One of my kids I coached oh, okay. that um, Gage took a liking to, and they wore the same football number. Same so. age? No, he was, he was a high school senior when Gage was 10 or 11 years old. Got it. So. Did, did, did he ever come over to Gage's house? Yes, we came over. We both came over for a Christmas party at your house. And why did he come over? Think, Excuse me, foundation speculation. Uh, time frame. Sustained. 2000. When was that? 15? Well, you can't feed him the question. Oh, I'm sorry. But, uh, what, you're asking, you, are you asking me? Memory. I'm sorry. This Christmas. To me, day. yeah, it was Christmas 2016. Actually, it was the picture that he had. I think he said uh, they met each other when he was senior and Gage was 10 or 11. Yes, yeah, so it was the picture actually that he showed earlier. Um, it was at the House of Furniture. That photo, yeah, that's the kid, Jonathan Schumacher. Gage that's is holding Schumacher. his jersey. And Gage would have been 10, 11 at that time? Yes, man. Okay. Probably before that. That's be, no, that's before Gage, he's 11, 10 years uh, old. Whose house was it? Gage's house? No, it was the Go house. Goldie and Alex's oh. house. All right. And how old was Gage then? He's younger than that. I think probably nine, nine or ten. About nine or ten. So Shoemaker went to the house. You were there? Yes, ma'am. What were you going to ask him about the Christmas? Um, just why did he come up? Objections to ask for speculation. Mm. Yeah, Shoemaker wants to know why he came over. Uh, you can't... No, you, you guys, you came over together, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, objection leading then. Uh, sustained. Oh, sorry. Uh, how did Jonathan end up at the house? How did it come about? Uh, Jonathan, um, Gage had 
asked, I believe Gage had asked, or I believe Gage had asked if he could come over, Objection. if he could come over to the, um, if, he could, if he could come over, that's why I, I picked him up and he. I'll uh, sustain us to the child hearsay part. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> We're technical about this. Yeah, okay. But, um, uh, so you knew, you, you were Jonathan's coach. Yes, ma'am. And you and Jonathan went to their house. Yes. For Christmas. Yes. And made a visit. Yes. Okay. It's one of those things, like you said, we went to the Gorman and game. Was Jonathan a Gorman kid? Yes. Okay. He's one of those that Gage would watch at the Gorman game, and he played one of the positions that Gage played. So Same number. Same number, so he kind of looked up to, you know. Okay. And uh, you are at 26 minutes. Okay. Um, so I've, I've kind of given you more than double what I normally allow on direct, but. Uh, I just a couple okay. more. Get to um, so uh, again to recap, you have, we have known each other for seven years uh, that you stated, and that you've never seen me be aggressive, out of character, um, at, at any given point in time for okay. these, and it was five days out of the week we spent together. Announced, that was leading, sustained, leading. sustained. Okay. Yeah, it was asked and answered too. He answered no. No uh, aggression or abusiveness towards kids. Did we get paid for coaching? No, sir. Overruled. You can, is it no? No, we, okay. don't, we don't get paid. Well, Coaches I or wish volunteers? I, did. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty safe to say that you are you know Gage fairly well, correct? Objection leading. Um, sustain the way you asked it. Soccer coaches get paid. No, I know I'm in the wrong sport then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the league soccer. Yeah, right. They they come yeah. Elite leagues elite league soccer coaches get paid. Yeah. Do you feel it would be in Gage's best interest for him not to be in the state of Nevada? Objection, foundation, as for speculation, does not qualify you an expert opinion, as for legal conclusion. Sustain on all four. As a coach, Do children have greater opportunities in the state of Nevada versus other states? Objection, foundation. Sustained. All his life, he's a football coach in Nevada, Vegas. Yeah, I see. Yeah, foundation. Do you have knowledge of other states, these programs? Overruled, he can answer that one. Do I have knowledge of other states? Yeah. Yes, okay. I've another. We, we travel our team currently. We travel a lot to play. We went to California. We went to Miami. We've gone to Texas. Okay. We, we, we travel to play. And um, when you travel, for tournaments. For tournament, regular season games. For we, it's we're, okay. So I don't yeah. know too much about football. But yeah, well. You go out of state for tournaments. Yes. Are you, are you familiar with the All American game? All American football game. Uh, the All American tournament. Yes, sir. Um, how do they select children? Objection. Overruled. Um, they select children off of uh, different coaches. Give their opinions. Uh, base it off of film. They base it off of uh, if they've seen in person or. Combines, tryouts. Mm -hmm. Just the best of the best, right? Yes, sir. For a sustainable disregard. Sorry. Uh, except that uh, the selection process for all Americans. By invitation? Mm -hmm. Yes. By invitation. What's the governing body for that tournament? Your league? There is no league oh. for it. No yes, it's a national. Nonprofit? Yeah, nonprofit. Is he selected? 
Gage did was selected to play an All American game. Okay, so that was uh, 30 minutes of direct uh, cross exam. Mr. Page, the mom's attorney, is going to ask you a few questions, sir. Okay, thank you. And then uh, hopefully we'll get you out of here so you can go to work. <laughs> thank you. Pick the kids up at yeah. three. What other states have you coached in or worked as a coach other than Nevada? Nevada is the only state I've worked as a coach. I've, the other states we've played games in against other coaches and communicated with California, Florida, Hawaii, Texas. knowledge that you have about Gage is limited to football, right? Yes, sir. Well, it's limited to my interactions with him during the football time. Okay. Uh, you know, to the time, to the time that we have each coach football, yeah. only experience you have with Gage? Is during football time or going to games or the time I told you I, we came to Christmas party. So you don't know how Gage operates outside of the football setting? Uh, at home, no, no, sir. You're not a recipient witness of what I'm saying. No, sir. I, I know. So you don't know how you don't know how Gage does at school. Um, actually, I I wouldn't know how he does in school if the information is if it's not provided. You know what I. You don't know what his grades like and his behaviors like. Um. Behavior off the field. At school. At school. At school. Behavior at school would, and school performance. I would wouldn't be aware of it unless I was told by by the parents. You know, Gage is in Washington now. Yes. You don't know how how he's doing in Washington. Gage, I haven't I've haven't had contact since he's left. So your your interactions are limited to a football setting. Mm, not not, not speculation. Overall. Not just the football setting. I mean, we've, we've say we've gone to you know there's banquets. Is that a football setting? Yeah, you know, that's a football setting. Anything team related, right? Yes, yes. So banquets. Yes. What are your team banquets? Barbecues, right? Yes. Okay. questions. Any follow up? Yeah, one. Okay. Um. So. <coughs> For seven years, ten months out of the year. Five days out of the week, estimated at over 8,000 hours of time. I believe one man likes him. <laughs> I hope. I hope so. I, hope I love. So. I hope so. Right. I love him. Yeah. He loves you. Objection. Sustained. Okay. Um. We. Did you take? Part of the part of the coaching's responsibility is education and behavior. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So we would do spot check report cards or visit the schools if the parents gave permissions. Yes, I mean we would we would check grades. Um, it wasn't um, coaches, right? Coaches coach, would check grades. Coaches would check grades, but it wasn't a mandatory. You know, it was no. a, it was more of a. You want to stay on the team? You got to get good grades. Uh, right? Yeah, you would tell them that, but it was it should have been enforced. Uh, a better it's better way to enforce good. it. Yeah, it's not really it's. By each individual coach, individual team. Right. There's no way to get access to the school district information. Oh, it's how you how you put it to the kids? What do you tell the kids? You tell the kids they they have to bring their their grades or or they'll be running, they'll be disciplined, you know, or they won't. Extra laps. Extra laps, but. You, oh, but you don't make them bring the report cards. We, it's a parent. A parent would have to let you know they're. A parent would have to let me know that, that they're struggling. Pull them out of and then we would, yeah, we would sit them out of football or, or discipline them at practice or. You'd know about it. Whatever they would, yeah, that yeah. that's how we'd know. But if discipline them at practice. 
Yeah. Okay. See. Anything else? No, Your Honor. No further questions. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Page? No. So, because you don't have access to Gage's grade, you didn't know that during the time he was playing football, he was getting all ups. Objection, Your Honor. I was here to say. Uh, he has no idea uh, what his grades were during that time. Overruled. Oh, well, only have, if you know. I have. You ever know? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. He Gage. doesn't have knowledge, Mr. Page. If your kid was getting all ups, would you let them play football? If my kid was getting all Fs, that's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, if the if football was the main reason that he's getting Fs, um, or I, I'd probably think there was something else going on while he's getting Fs, I wouldn't think him spending a couple hours at football practice running and training. I think football does more for a kid's character than gives him bad grades. Uh, you, I wouldn't blame football for for having Fs. Oh, is football a reward? Um, depends. Depends. Football, I mean, if if he's not playing football, what do you have the kids sitting in the house? And it, hey, I know you shrug your shoulders, but then that's then he's he's not getting any exercise. He's not athlete. He's not. There's there's a team building. He's he has a he has a responsibility to his teammates. It's football builds character. Academic performance is more important. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And since academic performance is more important, if you're not doing academic, well academically, you just devote more time for academics and less time for extracurriculars, right? Um, you should, but why? Why are you not? Why do you have all Fs? I'm just saying, if he's getting all Fs, should be playing, right? Objection, Your Honor. That's Council sustain. does not know. Sustain hypothetical. Yeah, I don't know. If, if, if your if your child's getting all Fs, should they be? Focusing more on academics than extra Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Hypothetical. Can't ask hypothetical. Unless you're an expert witness. I'm not an expert. No, you're I'm not. not. I'm not an expert. Maybe expert in football. No, I'm yeah, not. Maybe not, not. <laughs> All right. Any more questions on Mr. Johnson? No. Uh, one more, Your Honor. Yeah, go ahead. Um, um, Education is first. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. There could be multiple reasons why a child fails in school, correct? Objection, leaving, please have a hypothetical. Um, overall, it's prefatory. Could, it, could there be more reasons? Yes. Multiple reasons. So the answer is yes. And the next I've next actually, question I, can't be leading. I worked in the school district, and if that helps, I, I what worked. What do you do for a living? Uh, right now I'm unemployed. Currently, I'm, I'm curr right. today. Uh, currently, I'm unemployed. Okay. So I mean, I had a. Um, what did you do for CCSD? I was. That was when I was ten years ago. I was a, a teacher's aide in the classroom for with special education, and I was still going to UNLV trying to teach, taking classes. Okay. Um, so I do might have a little more information. Why, you know, and you kids. said you had coached in a high school. Yes, ma'am. Which one? Currently, at, currently at Desert Pines. Desert Pines. Desert Pines. What year was? What year? When was that? This is current. Oh, current. Current, yeah. I still, I help out. I'm there for the last three years. <coughs> right across the street. My old Marshall played at uh, Desert Pines. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. I wonder if you know him. Oh, he's That'd like 34 fun. years old oh, now. No, 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 no. 34. Uh, 34. What year you graduate high school? <laughs> the 2000. Back it up. Two, three, or two. 16 years ago. Yeah, no, that's way before, that's before me there. No, 16 years ago. That would have been 16 years ago. They won state, I think. Uh, anything else? Um, no, you're Okay, Mr. Page, anything else? No. I was trying to think of this guy I met. He was a football player. Frank Somers. Frank Summers, you know me, running back. Yes, the... yes ma'am. All right. You have a good day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have you have a great day, too. You, too. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Who we want to call next? Oh, are we still? Uh, yeah, it's your case in chief. Let me see. We had uh, on day one, who did we have? We had uh, Shelly Cooley. We had Philip Caldwell. 
We had Danielle Esquivel. We had Gavin. Uh, you called Gavin. Yes. Okay. Um, so we had Kathy Brown. And was that one of your witnesses, Kathy yes. Brown? I recall. And then we had Jason Johnson. So still Dad's case in chief. You can call your next witness. Um, Your Honor, I do not have any other witnesses. Other um, than yourself or the mom. Um, oh, I can. Okay. You can call yourself or you can call, or you can call the mom. He can rest as well. Uh, Your Honor. Or what? He, he can, can rest. Or you can. <laughs> Mr. Page wants you to rest your case. No. No, thank you. Yeah. I like to call the plaintiff to the stand. Mom will take the stand. Okay. Uh, Goldie, we had you sworn in already. Yes. So you understand you're still under oath? Okay, and uh, watch your step, and we don't need to swear you in again. Just so we have a record here, state your full name for the record. Goldie Marquette. And you're Gage's mom? Yes. Okay, so let's just dive right into it. Uh, rules are we don't fight, because it's dad asking mom questions. So no fighting, ask the question. If you don't like the answer, too bad, move on to the next question, okay? Yes, sir. All right, Still and then we'll, uh, Mr. Page objects, then I have to rule on that, and then we move on, and then we move on. You're stealing her water? Why are you stealing her water? Like you ran out? I, I ran out. I I'll have Mikey here see if we can get some more water in those I'm, pitchers. I'm getting over a cold, so it's just a cold. Oh, it's okay. Strange. Hope it wasn't too bad. No, it was pretty mild. Didn't fly to China, did you? Yeah, but I can. <laughs> I know, remember one time you flew to Hong Kong. There's something bad going on in Hong Kong right now. <laughs> That's a good place to shop then because of course. In fact, the first reported case of that virus was in Portland. Yeah. I think. Or Seattle. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, no, it was eastern, western Washington. Western Washington. Ooh, be careful. <coughs> You ready, Dad? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Your Honor, um, I'd like to point out the divorce decree. Um, the court has it on file. Okay. Um, it's not in the exhibit books? No, Your Honor. If there's something Mom needs to look at, you should have Can an extra... I... This is a copy. Yes, that's fine, except uh, I have to wait for Mikey to come back so he can bring it to the witness. Sure. Or I'll bring it to her. That's fine. He'll be back in just a second. The water cooler's just right over there. Okay. We a, I don't know if I have an extra copy while I'm on. Let me just get an extra copy. I have one. Can I get down and get it? Um... He wants to, is your copy marked up, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, but no notes on it, right? No, just Okay, so Mikey, I'm sorry, uh, our Deputy Marshal will give you the decree for the witness to look at. Uh, what's the file date of that decree? October 11. October 11th. All right, so Mama. 10, sorry. 10. You want her to look at that? Yeah, can I? What's the file date? 13th. October 16th. Got it. Sorry. Um, can you, um, can you read Section E, please? I, I section have a question. E. I usually refer them by page number and line number. Yes, Attorney, or I mean, uh, Judge Moss. Yes. Can I have a, I have an, I have a question. Here. Do you need reading glasses? No. Oh, okay. No. I just want to know, um, if this isn't an object. exhibit, hang on. If this isn't an exhibit, is an exhibit. Relevant? Um, any court pleadings or filings, including judgments, are part of the court record. Okay. So he can pull they're not the necessarily um, exhibits, but if you, if your attorney wants them to be an exhibit, I I don't object to that. I mean, but can we? I can. can we object to it? Um, your attorney has to do all the objections. So okay. right now he wants you to look at the document to sort of familiarize yourself with that, and he wants you to read Section <coughs> E. Okay. Can, okay. You, can, can you reference the section, please, that's highlighted in Section E? 
What page? What do you page? um so thirteen. And do you know what line they're not they're numbers guess, on the left yeah. side. What line numbers? Uh eight. Starting with line eight? Mm hmm Page page what was it again? Page eight or thirteen. Page thirteen, line eight. Line eight. Okay. Do you have it? Yeah. Fred, do you have it? Yeah, I have it. Okay. okay. Can you read section E, please? Uh huh. Alex shall assume assume sole and separate responsibility for the party's debt and shall amend, amend Goldie, therefore Alex assuming such debt, Goldie shall pay to Alex the sum of $200 per month for a period of 24 months. Okay. Can you, you is $200 or is it $250? Oh, sorry, $250. So can you read it again, please? Why? I heard it. That's fine. Have you ever made a payment? Objection relevant is that part it's of the court evidence. order, Your Honor. It's not part of the evidentiary hearing. Is it any part of any motion that you filed, Mr. Counsel? Yes, it no. is on my motion that I filed for this trial. Can and you identify the file date of that motion or counter motion? Um, 122-2019. Last year. Okay, let me let me get there first. Hang on. <laughs> The counter motion. Page four. Mm. Motion Section to enforce. D. Line eighteen. Overruled then. Well, I don't see where there's an evidentiary hearing. Set, set for that. Issue. Judge Moss. Um, we're in a trial now, so. Well, it was your attorney has to object for you. It was taken well, care of during the. Hang on, trial. we'll wait. We'll wait for your testimony. Okay. But I do have a motion to enforce the order, and it was at that time filed by Jason Namey, his prior attorney, and in item number on page uh, Roman numeral two of the motion, it's item line item five. So uh, it is part of the motion. Let me just double check on our court hearings to. Yeah, all pending. Let me see. I did I set this trial back in July or May or early? Uh, Judge Ann set it back in July. Well, there was a it was a no, motion senior judge filed Ames. by his counsel to continue the evidentiary. It was I senior Judge Ames. So, um, no, but the trial had already. What trial. Okay, one moment. There is some extensive minutes there. Lot of things there. Okay. Father's request to modify child support is deferred to trial. So, okay, I know I have to hear that. There's nothing about the debts, but let me back up to May 13th. It's a status check. And um, general setting of a trial so if your motion is in the motion it's well it's it has to be ruled on no. but um, there's no formal order to show cause on file when Jason and Amy um, filed your motion for you no. so we're not talking in, co in the context of contempt we're talking about um, payments being made it was uh, she was on notice of it in his motion Okay, so I'm going to um, overrule it and have her answer the question about payments. You can yes, ask it again. Just, have you ever made a payment for the debt that's owed? It's my understanding that Your it's Honor, already been taken objection. care of. So yes no, no, I haven't because okay. so if I was told that I didn't He asked you a question. You answer no. yes or no. Mr. No. Page will follow up with you, Mom. No. So the answer is no. Your Honor, please note that she willfully admitted um, she has not made a no commentary. Move on to the next question. You can save that all for closing arguments. Apologies. Okay. Um, um, can I have that back to the back, sir? No. Uh, yeah, we can get that back as decree. Thank you. Thank you. Your attorney will follow up later. Okay. Thank okay. you. Um, sure. Your Honor, I'd like to point out 
the jurisdiction change the motion that was filed by the plaintiff on 227 2019 at 453. You have an extra copy. 227 um, um, Is it Goldie's motion for a request for jurisdiction change? Correct, Your Honor. Okay, I'll pull it up. Uh, the marshal can bring it to her. Okay, I have it up here on my screen. Um, notes are not allowed. Okay. Um, nope. Yeah, if you say notebook, notes are not allowed on the witness stand. And let me get to page eight. Well, okay, I have to count that. It's not really numbered that, but I am on the eighth page of the motion. Could you read the highlighted section, please? Mother's ex-boyfriend had logged her logged in information on Talk Team Parents, and it changed the password. Could you read the whole paragraph, please? Uh, mother and her boyfriend were um, in trial, and mother did not want to continue the relationship with the boyfriend. Mother did not have any access to Talk Team Parents after 8-7-18. Thank you, Your Honor. Can you okay. Can you one more time, can you repeat that date? No. I'm sorry. August 7, 2018. Okay. Yeah, sustained counsel. And the date might not be right. I'm not really but sure. But that's a court order document, correct? Right. Well, I was close. Mm -hmm. It's her document. Her document, right. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. 8718. You know, I'd like to. Focus your attention on my exhibits. Uh, exhibit C is the talking parents log. Hang on. Let's go to exhibit C. Reference page 16. Mr. Page, you are needed in TPO court. Mom, you can step down. We're going to take a little five-minute break, ten okay. minutes.